and violence and other kind of violence. We're following breaking news out of the Bronx. A man shot and killed after he was followed into a pharmacy. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon joins us live from the scene. She's just arrived on the scene in the East Tremont section. Sonia. And what we do know is that police are looking for four men in the shooting death of a 27 year old man inside this pharmacy behind me. It happened just around one in the afternoon. And what it appears happened is that these four men followed this 27-year-old uh, victim into the pharmacy. He did not work at the Amazing Pharmacy, as it's called, uh, but they did follow him inside, and police say it appears that they were trying to rob him when they shot him. We did speak with someone who knows the pharmacy employees, a regular customer, very concerned about them when she heard about where this happened. As you see right now, I'm shocked. I'm really, I'm shocked, and I'm like, I was very concerned for them because they are good people. And they, I mean, this never, never seen this happen here at all. And especially I heard that it happened inside. So I was very concerned for them, for their safety, because they are good people. Thankfully, nobody else was hurt, but this 27-year-old man was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Still no word on his identity, and the search continues for the four men believed to be responsible for this shooting. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. And Adam, we actually had a chance to speak with the pharmacy manager this morning who told us his employees had to run behind counters and hide in the basement during one of the latest episodes of gun violence in New York City where police say a 27-year-old man was shot and killed inside the store and now four suspects remain at large. Officers say they responded to a 911 call and arrived here at the scene. An employee who was working at the store around 2 p.m. says the victim was flashing a stack of cash and then purchased some eye drops at the counter before leaving the store and returning about 20 minutes later, this time standing outside of the pharmacy with those four other men. It appears that there was some kind of altercation between them, and then the clerk says things quickly escalated with the victim trying to seek shelter inside the pharmacy. Police say one of those four suspects pulled out a gun, fired multiple shots at the victim, striking the man in the body and chest. That clerk, who asks not to show her face after this deadly shooting, remembers how the victim was begging for his life. Regular our customers at the pharmacy are still in shock. He said, please, please, we can talk, we can talk. I went back there to the pharmacy screaming, please be careful. We have to move, we have to move, because here they're gone, here they're gone, here they're gone. I don't know if I feel to go back to my job. Yeah, it's really a disgrace, you know, it's really shameful what's going on in our community nowadays. The gun violence has gotten really out of control. And I'm at this point, Investigators believe that the four suspects were trying to steal the money, the cash, from the man, that cash that the clerk said he was waving at the counter. The clerk also says he had never seen that victim before or the four suspects. Reporting live from the treatment section of the Bronx, Gabby Acevedo, News 4, New York.